Great to be joined here by Cora Martin. And Cora, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, hey, yeah, thanks for stopping by. You know, you're about to head out to Florida. First of all, how exciting is it to know you're gonna go out there in that sunshine for a week coming up? Oh, well, we're excited to head down there and, and see some of the heat and see the field for sure. How was it like last year? You know, this will be the second time you've had a chance to go out there. How, how much are you looking forward to going back out there for a second time? Oh, we're super excited. Obviously, it's our first time stepping on the dirt in a while and the first time being able to get outside. And it's a big change, but we're, we're excited to get out there. How did it feel to open up the season and you know, we got the two dome supported fields we played at? I mean, how nice was it to kind of get that at least some games in before you go down to Florida and get on that, that real field? Oh, it feels great to get in those domes. You know, obviously it's not the same thing as the real thing, but it's pretty much as close as we can get up here in Minnesota. So to be able to see those pitchers and get anything we can in before we head down to Florida is huge. You know, now a fifth year, you know, into your third year here at Bemidji, how do you feel you're kind of adjusting your game now to playing up here and for the Beavers? I love it here. I've loved Bemidji since I stepped on the field for the first time and obviously the adjustment was a little bit a little bit of a struggle just being able to play year round and, and having to work in those domes. That was not something I was super used to. So just having the ability to do that has been huge and I love the team here so you know, talking about your background, you know, growing up in Canada, you at least had a chance to come to Minnesota before your previous school. So kind of walk us through what led you to go from Canada to Minnesota to then Bemidji. I wanted to play both sports, so I kind of knew that JUCO was the route for me. I obviously went to Rainy River Community College in International Falls. So I wanted to play volleyball and softball. So I decided to go to the JUCO route, and I definitely don't regret that. I loved my two years there. And then changing here to Bemidji, it was a pretty easy choice for me. Obviously, staying in the area was super big for me because I really liked the northern Minnesota area. Felt like home to me. I didn't want to be super far away in the south, so staying up north was really important to me, and and I've really loved it since I got here. You know, speaking about volleyball, how much do you think it helps having to be able to play multi sports? You know, we see a lot of people do that, and it really helps you with the sport you choose to go into. How much do you think you use volleyball to help you with softball too? Just staying active all year round was really big for me. Obviously, in Canada, we weren't able to play softball year round. Just a little bit indoor stuff and practices. So being able to stay active and just working on my athletic ability in different sports was really big for me. I'm from a really small town, so I kind of played everything. And I think that really helped me moving forward. Last thing for you too, you know, for choosing to end up doing softball as your sport, just kind of what got you into softball and what made you decide to choose that to be your collegiate sport? I've always loved softball. I think that it really brings out my competitive edge and my individuality. Like, I'm super competitive, so just being able to work on the field all the time, and I, I just love the sport. I've been able to play multiple positions and kind of pick what one I like the most. So, yeah. That's why I chose softball, I guess. All right, thanks, Cora. We really appreciate you stopping by. Of course, best of luck this season, and we'll see you again here soon. Okay, thank you so much.